Welcome to Applied Logics. In this video, we will write a program to find the greater number between two given numbers. For example, if you have an input with two numbers like 10 and 20, in this case, you, your program should return 20 as the output. Okay. If you have one more example, let's say two numbers as a 2 and 100, in this case, your program should return 100 as the output. So, let's see how we can implement it in Java. Okay, so I am creating a solution dot Java file over here. Okay, you can see we have a public class solution inside it. Let's go ahead and add a public static void main which will be considered as an entry point for our program. Okay, so I'm declaring that method, main method here and passing the string argument array ARGS to it. Okay, so let's say, let's take two numbers like integer number one, number one as a 10 and I will take number 2 number 2 as a uh, let's say 20 ok now we will write one function which will return the greatest between these two elements ok so let's say result equal to get max and to this function we will pass number 1 comma number 2 ok and by using system dot out dot println system dot out dot println we are going to display the result to the terminal ok we can add a string something like get largest number is largest and you am largest number is and then the result okay so you can print have a function like get max or get largest get largest number so pay attention towards the naming convention that we are using camel case naming convention for the function names as well along with the variable names as well so let's go ahead and create this method that is public static int i'm using integer as a return time because our method will return the largest number out of these two and i will be taking input input as a n1 comma integer n2 so this two variables will hold the number one and number two which is being passed from the main method okay now here you have to write the logic like right? so you basically have to do the comparison between these two numbers so how we can do that with the help of if if condition so here is the logic if n1 is greater than n2 what does that mean if the first number is greater than second number we have to return the first number okay else else our code execution will reach in else part only if this condition holds false and when this condition holds false we can say that the number 2 will be the largest in this case okay because for example let's say in case of 10 and 20 okay we pass 10 and 20 so n1 will now 10 and n2 is now 20 now we will do the comparison does 10 is greater than 20 no means this condition will return false as it return false we will not go inside if statements construct okay so we will go to the else part and we will return n2 that is 20 let's say if we had 
passed something like n1 as a 100 and n2 as a 50. In this case, n1 will be 100. Uh, is it greater than 50? Yes. So this condition will hold true. Hence, we will go inside if construct and we will simply return n1. That is 100 as the largest number. Okay. So let's go ahead and compile and test our code and check whether it is working as per expected. Okay, I can see an error over here. Yeah, I forgot to change the name of a method. Uh, yes, I have changed the name and you can see get largest number method over here. Okay, let's compile the code first before running it. So I'm just compiling with Java C solution.java the code got compiled perfectly let's run it with the command java space solution and here you can see the largest number is 20 let's change the input like instead of 10 and 20 pass 100 and 50 in this case our program should return 100 as the output let's see that so i'm compiling the code one more time and I'm running the code. Yes, I can see 100 as the output. So, with the help of this function, you can get the largest number from given two numbers. If you have any questions and doubts about this particular method, feel free to add your comment in the comment section. I will try to answer each of them. Thank you.